Hello from the Iron Horse Golf Academy down here at Iron Horse Golf Club just north of Atlanta. My name is Don Peterson and I uh, put together a program I call Miyagi for Golf. Uh, today is going to be a lesson review. I'm going to show you a student who flew in from Boston to work with me. And I put him through several of the um, drills that I use for um, teaching people how to uh, use their lower body and proper footwork and, and use of the hips and the ground for power in the golf swing. I um, used my tee ball and I used just a simple broom handle. But uh, let me show you um, how we can change your swing if you want to come down and, and work with us or if you want to work with me online uh, through the Skillist app. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in the Skillist app and on the left here is Peter's swing uh, when he came in. Um, this was him warming up and we got him to driver. You can kind of see how he stacks towards his left side and I don't really care for um, how he used his lower body and his hips and he was the first one to say um, I, I feel like I need to learn how, my, learn how to use my lower body and my hips better. So when I look at this backswing I see him kind of reversing away from that red line so you can kind of see how this right hip or trail hip is pulling back away from the line and then that means a lot of his weight in my mind is, is going to his left leg and you can kind of see here that he doesn't feel powerful, so he overswings. And then even though he's got his wrist hinged a little bit there, his trail thumb is kind of in the way and um, doesn't get a full hinge, so then he's going to overswing, overextend here and break down with that, that lead, lead elbow. So he's got a breakdown there. And, and then he releases with his shoulders before his hips. So what happens is he's releasing early, and you can see the club releases to full speed or full extension right here where his lead forearm and that club form a straight line. That's the highest amount of club head speed that club head is going to make right there. And it'll begin slowing down as it heads towards the golf ball. Also, the bottom of his swing arc is probably going to be behind the golf ball. So he's going to raise up or to top the ball or maybe chunk it. And uh, those would be consistent problems, I would think, with an early release pattern like that. Now, after we did some um, Miyagi for golf training, uh, I have some drills that we did, and this is kind of a result of the drills. You can kind of see how he's starting to turn through his trail hip. So we're getting that trail hip through. We're getting his right foot to come up off the ground. His trail knee is coming up and covering his, his left knee. So he's in a real balanced, nice position here, and you can see if he just takes a swing here, watch this little mini swing, you can already see how his release, because he's moving his hips through the golf ball correctly with good footwork, now his, um, his bat, I'm going to erase all this, and now his bat, which is the club in this instance, is straightening out right about where uh, impact would be for the golf ball. And contrast that to what we see over here on this other side is straightening out before the golf ball. And then you see this total collapse of his arms as he goes through the golf ball. So see all this collapse here? Because his arms have nowhere to go. He's, his hips have not cleared. So he, he, um, he struggles with uh, getting through the golf ball. And over here on this side, where he's worked on his better swing sequence and and the trail hip and the right knee coming through and finishing tall on his lead side, you can see now his arms are pulled straight and that club had some centrifugal force as he went through and uh, much more club head speed towards the target instead of towards the ground. And that's a big difference. Okay, now when you look at from the behind view, this is the training that we were doing without the ball, without hitting a ball. And you can kind of see how the, the, the club is now swinging a little bit differently when he, when he turns through with his hips. And he's getting the club more on plane. And I'll show you, I always do this little cylinder where I draw a cylinder here for the torso. And I'll do the same thing over here on this side. There's, there's the cylinder for his upper body, torso. And then you can see on the downswing on this one where he didn't use his hips, the early before swing. You can see how the club is coming up here towards the top of the cylinder, up around his shoulders. And that's a little bit what we call outside in or uh, over the top. And you can kind of see how the club gets way outside the ball here. And see, that doesn't make sense that the, 
a club should be tracking from the inside so that it can gain speed rather than coming from the outside. It's going to pull right across, and you'll see, actually, I think he heel tops this as he goes through. Now let's contrast this to what happens on the other side where we're training a little bit differently, using his hips, and you can see his right elbow's tucked in, and now the club seems to be coming more through the center of the, the cylinder here, right through the center, and uh, closer to the lower back and closer to the hips, because you know the hips are going to be more of the power now, and so he's using his hips to bring the arms on a shallower plane, which is going to give him more club head speed, um, probably a little bit later release, and um, um, rather than a glancing blow, he's going to hit the ball much more solid, which is going to give him more, um, more distance. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for joining me. Um, come back and see more videos like this if you want to learn about Miyagi for Golf training system. Uh, download the Skillist app and then look for Don Peterson on the uh, Skillist app, and you'll find my online training course, the Miyagi for Golf system. And if you'd like to come visit me here at Iron Horse Golf Academy and work through the program, uh, I'd also invite you to come down to um, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm just on the north side at the Iron Horse Golf Club. Look forward to seeing you. Take care. And as always, like and subscribe.